finally, and it's been years since I installed that Murphy bed in the guest cabin, I'm gonna finish it. I spent the last day putting all the little trim pieces in, and this is the end of it, the very last step. I'm gonna put this crown molding up on top of the case, and I'm gonna pre-assemble the whole thing, including this little top cap, and cross my fingers and toes and hope when I take it down to the cabin that it fits. So I'm gonna glue up these mortises for the dominoes, and I'm gonna glue the miter too, because I want these joints to be perfectly square and flush. I'll get some glue into this one. There we go. And I've cut the domino mortises so that the first one here is tight, and the second one has some wiggle room in it, so it'll be easier to assemble this. But that top one that's tight will align the long point of this miter perfectly flush. And the other one will make sure that the whole piece is flush in this direction. Now I'll just put a spring clamp right on that miter. There we go, and put some pressure on there so that glue can set before I attach the crown molding to the top cap. These are just little 23 gauge brad nails. They're only about three quarters of an inch long, so I won't penetrate the cap too. But that's all I need to hold this really lightweight crown onto the cap. Now, I'm gonna leave these spring clamps on here for sure until I get the thing on the case down in the cabin. But now I can take it down there and hopefully it fits. Here's the moment of truth. I'm just gonna slip that side over. Oh, there we go. Ooh, fits like a glove. Perfect the first time. Boy, that's a nice feeling. I just have to push that crown molding tight at the bottom across the face here. And I'll do the same thing around this corner. And I'm gonna have to really push on this piece of crown to tighten it up against the case. There we go, right there. Awesome. So here's how this thing works. Drop the foot down. Set it right on the floor. Now, this is a temporary backboard. <laughs> I'm still not finished. I want to build a really custom wainscot paneling on this wall right here, maybe with a cloud lift panel too, but for sure with a little drop down shelf on a hinge so that when I've got guests over and we're using this bed, we can drop the shelf down and we'll plug it into this outlet right there. And in the meantime, we even put a switch in over here and a couple of puck lights right in the top of the cabinet. So when I got company over, they're lying in bed, and they can read a book. And the bed folds up just as easily. You just pick up this end of it, and then fold up the foot, and then right back into the case. Now you can see I did kind of a custom design here with the cloud lift and the sun rays and the handle and everything. And that's why I chose this brand. I was real careful. There are a lot of companies out there that make Murphy beds, at least the hardware and the plans, and I researched them all really carefully before I really like pulled the trigger. I wanted to be sure that I could customize the case the way I have. I really wanted to do this custom design with the cloud lift, 
and the sun rays that go all the way up to the head and then come all the way down to the bottom of the panel. And I also wanted to be sure that I could make the case a little bit deeper because I had a pretty tall mattress with a, one of those foam pads on the top. Well, these folks from Create a Bed, they really solved all my problems. First, the plans that they send you for the installation and the assembly that include cutlass, I mean, even to the point where you can get the maximum out of a sheet of plywood, their plans are incredibly detailed and super, super accurate to a 32nd of an inch on a lot of the layout for the bolt holes and stuff. And every single one of them worked just perfectly the first time. So I gotta tip my hat to these folks. I've never worked with a set of plans that was so detailed and so perfect that it made the whole job real smooth. Of course, adding all this custom stuff kind of made it a little bit of a challenge, but it wasn't that tough.